And there was a lot of Lewis. You saw a lot of him. We all yeah. saw a lot of him. I it know had I to heard. Be said in that time. Could you not just have said to yourself, I can resist the temptations of the flesh for three weeks? I think I did try. It was really hard. When you get in a, long money. Yeah, you get in a relationship and you have so many feelings, it's hard to like not go there, do yeah. you know what I mean? But I think we did quite well. Did you like him straight away? I fancied him. I was attracted yeah. to him straight away, definitely, but I didn't think that what happened would happen. Yeah, right. I went straight from Geordie straight in there, so I was still in my Geordie ways, do you know what I mean? And I forgot that 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 group of people weren't me Geordie group of people, so there was boundaries and sometimes I was crossing them and I was like, oh, God. So would you say the incident with Syrah? Yeah. When you, that was I just... mean, obviously we can't show it because you know, yeah. it's a daytime show, but you flashed at her. Yeah. People can assume what. Just shows um, what you did to her again. <laughs> <laughs> but well, it's, you know, it's interesting you say, well, I kind of was in with different people that a lot of people found very offensive. She yeah, looked quite shocked. shocked. And about. actually on the outside, people would think that's a step too far. I know. How do you feel about that When now? I came out, I was really upset because I've seen that people were saying I was a bully, which is completely not true. Like, that's the last thing I wanted to do was offend anyone. It was just supposed to be like a harmless joke to lighten the mood because there was a lot of tension in there. Like, you, if you were there, you'd feel it. It wasn't a very nice place to be. Mm. And I just generally thought it would make people laugh. <laughs> and but it did really you not didn't. Think, you know, she's a woman older than you. There were the men were sitting around as well. Did you not think it was inappropriate? Or had you had a bit too much to drink? Maybe I'd had a little bit too much to drink. But that type of stuff's really acceptable on Jolly Shaw. So I just, yeah. when I'm drunk, I just assumed it would be no. there. And it clearly wasn't. Talking about being drunk, are you completely intoxicated with Lewis? Yes. I am. As in, in love? Yeah. I fell in love quite quickly. It was, like, overwhelming, definitely. But we spent so many hours together, and you only see an hour a night, but we were spending, like, 24 hours a day together. So it did happen really quickly, but I just went with it. Did that did help to pass the time? Did the sort of time go quicker? <laughs> yeah, it went so much quicker. When he left, that week dragged for me. I was yeah. like, this is just, like, long. Uh -huh. Did you ever think that a lot of people talk about showmances and mm. that was mentioned in there Bear and, and Chloe and you yeah, and Yeah, I was and confused Lewis. by that as well. Well, because I think they you know people said well all of you have done reality shows You're you playing kind of a know game. you know yeah. what gets you airtime. I just that well, like before I went in I said I'm not going to get in anything too serious with someone in there because that can sometimes disadvantage you. So that was not what I was planning on doing. And I just think what's so wrong about a young boy and young girl liking each other? Why does everyone think it's got to be fake? Oh, controversial. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, oh. What about Bear, um, the winner? Did you think you would win? No. Did you I, think I went in there and I knew I wasn't going to win. Did you think Bear would win? Yeah, I thought he would for a long time. And was it was it um, one thing or the other? Would Bear was he either going to be champion or was he going to be the most irritating person ever in a Big Brother house? I mean, he, I didn't find him irritating. I found him entertaining. Yes. He really made it funny in there, and it was sometimes really boring. And yes. he just brought it alive. Could you see why he was irritating other people? <laughs> I mean, especially if it was, like throwing it, food around. It was only ever over like silly things like food. Like it was never anything truly serious. He was never nasty to anyone. Uh huh. And I've seen a lovely side to Bear, and he is a sweet, sweet boy. It's uh. a shame that no one else got to see that. Um, what about you and Syra <clears throat> at the when you met, met up? Because obviously there was a bit of tension between the two of you. She said some things since she's been out. Yeah, and How was, were you at the party? I was upset over that because I was one of the very few people in there who liked Syra. And I used to get in deep conversations with her, and she's one of the only people that I opened up to. And I told her about my childhood, I told her about like my family, like, I told her a lot of personal things, and I really liked her. Um, so to come out and see all that, I thought it was really unfair for her to do that to me whilst I was still in there. And she knows that that was completely untrue, what she said. So she was basically saying, you knew right from the start your game was to go in there and sleep with yeah, somebody. Yeah, that's ridiculous. She knows that's not true. She would always say to Lewis, like, I've never met a girl like her, I've travelled around the world, and I've never came across a young girl as special as, as me. So why would she say that if she thinks I'm a prostitute? Do you so know what I mean? So did you talk to her about it at the after show? No, she came up with me at the after show and I went to give her a cuddle because I hadn't seen her and I was like, you're right? And she was like, there's been a bit of press, but just don't look too much into it. You know what the press are like. And I was like, yeah. what? Press, that would say anything. <laughs> Have you found a husband in there? You what? Have you found a husband? In Lewis? Yes. I mean, possibly. I think coming out, we're just going to like take things slow. We've both, both got busy schedules and we just want to have fun. So, Not look too much into it. So last night was your first official date. Yes. And obviously you've done a lot of things that people do before <laughs> or after <laughs> dating. You've done it that was all really, first. It was strange. Where being, did you go? Went bowling. Yeah. And he won.
which I'm still angry about. <laughs> he didn't even let you win? No, oh, I told him not to, to be fair. See, that's the difference. If I had a girlfriend like that, I wouldn't be going bowling. I'd be saying, fancy a night <laughs> in, watching are you being served, or Victoria, or whatever. That's what I'd have been and doing. And what about you now? Is it back to Geordie Shaw? Yeah. Yeah, yeah so I'm, I don't think I would ever leave Geordie Shaw. It's where my roots are. And how's that going to work for you and Lewis? He's down we there. We spoke about it last night, actually, and he's fine. He's, he's totally fine with us going back. Um, we're just willing to make it work regardless. Okay. Morning, lovely talking to you. I know. Thank, Thank you. Thank you for having me. Well, I feel as if we know you well, so yeah. well. <laughs> we feel as if we've had a shower with yeah. you and everything. Just anyway. Hello, YouTube. For more of the same, just click here and don't forget you can subscribe for even more of these amazing videos exclusive to our channel. Wow, I didn't actually know this, um, but he that, did... Did that put you off? See, that would make me go, well, he's two-timing somebody. Why yeah, don't I want to be did think that. But he, he basically said he'd made a decision that he didn't want to be with her anymore and he, he obviously couldn't get out to tell her, but he, he wanted it to be known.